Hi, I'm Ryan Samaski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to go into the ship's bakery. First off, Iowa-class battleships have significant space dedicated to meal preparation on board. There are several galleys on board for different levels of the crew. The captain has his own pantry. The officers have several spaces. The chiefs have a space. And of course, the enlisted guys have a space. And in addition to the regular galley where regular food prep is happening, there's also a butcher shop, or on some of the Iowa's, a donut shop, and several spaces dedicated to the bakery. We are just after the carpentry shop and just forward of the galley and the chow line here on the starboard side of Battleship New Jersey. And uh, this space is on the tour route. You can look in when you're on your tours. And here we have the, the, the bakery suite, if you will. So over here, we have the bakery storeroom. We still use that as a storeroom. We're not gonna open that up. It's a, it's a comparatively small room with shelves in it. And this one over here is the bread cooling room. Uh, so it primarily has just lines of racks where pans can be slotted in for cooling off the bread after they've been cooked. Uh, baked, I suppose. How many times am I gonna say baked in this episode? There is a waterproof passing scuttle that connects it to the bakery on the other side of this bulkhead. And there are bread slicing machines. We have two in here. The original bread slicing machine, which is still bolted to the counter, which likely dates back to World War II. It looks pretty old. And a, a more modern, probably 70s or 80s era bread slicing machine that we were able to get off one of the Perry class frigates. They both do the same job. You, you put a loaf of bread in and it gives you slices afterwards. There would be dispensers on some of the counters out in the mess decks that they, they look like napkin dispensers and you just stick a bunch of sliced bread in top and the bottom you open a thing, a slice comes out and you've got one. Uh, there were also toasters that sort of look like hot dog cookers with a conveyor belt and it passes the toast through. So this isn't something that's happening in the galley itself. You get your meal, you go through, you throw a slice of bread on your uh, tray if you want it toasted, you toast it your, yourself. So those, those are out there separately. Now, let's head into the bakery proper. So as you can see, the bakery is a fairly large space. On some of the Iowa-class battleships, there's actually a pass-through from here to the opposite side of this ship. I suspect the ones that got a separate donut shop in place of the butcher shop had a P-way cut through. Uh, for us, we have the Marine Armory on the other side of this bulkhead, so there's no P-Way, and we never got the donut shop. However, you can see right here, we have a 1980s era deep fat fryer, uh, which implies that they were doing donuts and other sorts of things here in the bakery. Remember, New Jersey is the first one reactivated in the 80s, uh, and it was a relatively all-store reactivation, so they might have uh, reactivated the ship put her out into service, and then decided that she didn't have, uh, that she didn't have adequate baking facilities on board. Her, her 1940s footprint was not enough, so they added additional bakery spaces uh, in the form of the donut shop where the butcher shop was, because of course you don't need a butcher shop anymore. Uh, it's not like during World War II where you're getting half a, half a cow and then you're butchering it yourself. Uh, you're getting all that stuff pre-packaged by the time this ship is at the end of her service. Uh, this space has definitely been heavily modified in the 80s. Most of the equipment in here, the electric ovens, the deep fat fryers, uh, are 1980s era equipment. It's got a triple deep sink here for washing things that of course was not the health and safety standard during World War II. That's something that uh, develops later on. Uh, so separate sinks for all this sort of stuff. Uh, so th this whole area is most likely an 80s addition. The poured terrazzo deck in here uh, is further indication that it's an 80s addition. And that might even indicate that it's a late 80s uh, addition. There's, there's a chance that New Jersey is reactivated and deploys with her original legacy galley equipment and then this space is modified during a subsequent yard period in 84, 85, or maybe as late as 87. 
uh, and, and they put in the more modern stuff like you see in this space. Uh, but it's got everything you would expect to see in a traditional bakery. I've already pointed out the deep fat fryer. We got the ovens for baking right here. Uh, we've got refrigerators both in this space and in the bread cooling room. Um, we've got, of course, the big Hobart mixer. This might be an original. I'm not quite sure how to date a uh, Hobart mixer. You do see these sorts of things on World War II era ships in this size. It might have just been one of those things that's so good, don't replace it, it still works. Additionally, there are two steam kettles opposite the uh, camera behind where you are right now. Um, I'm not a baker myself. I'm not quite sure what the steam kettles are for in the bakery. Uh, we've got a dough roller. We've got proofing cabinets. Uh, it, it seems like this space is not set up linearly. So you'd be hand rolling dough maybe on this counter over here. Uh, you've got the mixing bowl. You've got the roller proofing cabinet. You've got cooling racks here, or maybe it's just racks for uh, cleaned pots and pans. That would make sense if it's the clean trays. You wash the trays, you put them in there, put the bread on it, throw it in the oven. And then of course, we've got the two pass-through ports here. One that goes over to the bread cooling room where those racks are, and one that goes to the galley right on the other side of here. And they both have watertight doors uh, that close over them. It's always amazed me the size of the space is dedicated to baking, but then you look at traditional sailors' diets, go all the way back to the age of sail when the US Navy is born, and carbs have always played a huge role. On those ships, there was a lot less fresh baking, and you would have gotten things like hardtack uh, that would stay good for years. It's baked ashore and you get it, and then that's your bread for the three years that one of these ships would have deployed. Uh, by the time you get to the uh, age of steel and steam, you tend to get bakeries starting to show up on ships. On some ships, smaller ships, the bakery tasks take place in the main galley. The Iowa-class battleships have separate bakers on board and uh, separate spaces for them. The bakers would usually start their day significantly earlier than everyone else so that they could have fresh made food all ready, ready to go uh, by the time the first breakfast line is coming through at uh, whatever time that would be in the morning. In 1969, the ship was active for just about the whole year. She's decommissioned in December, but keep in mind that the last four months or so, she's going through an activation process and doesn't have a full crew. Yet, during that year, the ship makes 120,879 pounds of bread and rolls in these bakery spaces. 1985, the ship has a major yard period that uh, takes up most of the year, and yet still, uh, the 1985, the ship has a major yard period. Uh, she doesn't go into dry dock, but she spends a lot of time in the yard after she comes back from Lebanon. And uh, keep in mind that she also has a reduced crew at this time than she would have during earlier time periods, about one quarter smaller. And yet they still produce 84,428 pounds of baked goods in this bakery. Uh, so the 1969 numbers equate to somewhere around 60 pounds of baked goods per sailor on board the ship. When you come out and visit the ship, you'll see some fake food on display. Uh, we specifically chose this food for a couple of reasons. First off, we got some uh, regular rolls just the typical sort of stuff that was made on board. Uh, next off, we got a tray of donuts. I'm really upset that other Iowa-class battleships have specific donut shops, and we don't. So I wanted to make it very clear that Battleship New Jersey still had donuts on board. And then, of course, we've got the nice cake. Uh, there, there's lots of examples of the bakers making uh, cake for special occasions. Um, uh, they would have made it for the ship's birthday, and then uh, during the 1960s, when Captain Snyder was on board, he had it so that he would serve the crew members whose birthdays happened that week. Uh, one day that week, he would have them for dinner in his cabin, and he would serve them a uh, birthday cake. In fact, in some of, uh, some of the crew who had later birthdays uh, said that uh, the captain wouldn't 
eat the cake with them anymore. He'd cut them slices and give it to him. But he's, guys, I, I'm having this cake once a week. It's too much for me. Uh, so th there is so much sweets and baked goods on here that some of the crew were like, I, I can't do this anymore. So what's your favorite type of baked good? Let us know in the comments section down below. I don't know what my favorite is, but I do love me some good donuts. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to donate. It goes towards the restoration of spaces like the ship's bakery. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.